the keys were right in my hand, I, it just might slip and start the car. Next thing you know, my foot hits the gas. Stop! <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog and thank you for tuning in. Today we open up in the beautiful state of Utah because we are doing a collab with my good friend Stradman. And believe it or not, for how long I've been friends with him, today's the first official collab we have ever done on YouTube. So I'm super excited. He's gonna be here any second now to pick us up. We have an eventful day. We have to go get the 458. He's got his Liberty Walk 458, but I don't know if that's what he's gonna drive. Stay tuned. <laughs> They're gonna kick us out of this hotel. <laughs> First and foremost, well, let's go get the 458. Alright, 700 horsepower retail. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, she sounds so good. Such a good sounding car. <laughs> Until right now, we have two wide body Liberty Walk 458s, one with a silhouette kit and one with the version one kit Stradman's Liberty Walk 458s. You're flexing on me. Your car looks so much more aggressive. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. so much gonna... wider. I think this looks absolutely amazing, but I, once you put You're just trying to make me feel good. <laughs> it looks so much more aggressive. You got the fat wing, you got the canards, you got the louvers. The seats are incredible, the car sounds amazing. But I will say, they look like <laughs> two completely different cars. They do, It's not totally. like one looks like another one with a kit, they look like two individual, mm -hmm. completely different cars, which is super cool to have them side by side. In the middle of nowhere, Utah, I love that, right? <laughs> I know. To have three Liberty Walk cars out here. Car turned out amazing, though. Like, Thank I just gotta you. say, it looks so Thank good. You. I love the color, love the kit. I remember we talked about you getting a 458 we forever did. ago. I called James so for bad. advice a long time ago about yep. whether or not I should get a 458 or a Lamborghini 582. I ended up going with the 458. Right, I'm, I'm a Lambo guy, but it, that was yes. the right choice. The car's worth a ton more. It looks insane. It went over well hundred thousand dollars in value since I purchased this. So I would love to take you in a ride for it, so you can actually hear it and get a feel yeah. for it, and then maybe you, you drive it after that. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. I might drive. I have a history of braking cars, <laughs> oh, so dear. we'll kind of sort of see. Well, if you drive this, then that means I just have to drive one of yours, right? I see how it is. Okay, <laughs> okay, that's fair. Okay, I'll drive this, and you can pick any car of mine. Any car. Any car. Any car here, I get to any pick. Any car. Comment below. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so I always hear about how beautiful Utah is, but no one ever warned me that it would be this hot out. Oh, you're it's fine. It's 100 degrees It's not here. that bad. You're good. <laughs> and I got the black seats and I'm wearing shorts. It's a great day to be alive. It is summer, ladies and gentlemen, so it is time to get ready for the beach. And I have the perfect solution for you. Thanks to today's sponsor, Harry's. Whether you're single, married, or just in it for the self-love, Harry's has got you covered to keep you shaved, clean, and feeling good. Harry's prioritizes simple quality craftsmanship that gives you only what you need. Leave the cheap gimmicks to the other guys who use them to charge you more for less. There's nothing worse than having bad blades after the first shave, but let me tell you this. Their blades hold up. Harry's has the highest and best customer satisfaction in the shaving industry, but this set is still a no risk trial. So if you don't like your shave, it's on them. And because Harry's insists that you shouldn't have to choose between a great shave and a fair price, they just give you both. Refill blades start as low as two bucks. New Harry's customers get their starter set, which includes a five blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel with aloe, and a travel cover. It is a $13 value, all for just $3. There's never been a better time to try Harry's. So go to harrys.com forward slash Amelia and get their starter set for just three bucks. Now, let's get back to the video. <laughs> let's get some AC going, right? It's hot. Whoa, sorry, too soon? <laughs> Way too soon. Never mind, never mind. Did they know? The AC doesn't even work right now. About that? Did no, I it just happened today. Oh, the wait, really, just... did it really happen today? Dude, all the cars are breaking today. <laughs> Is working fine until today. Just decided to give out. Yeah, that's what we got. Not it's. <laughs> like it's, it's so a hot. cranked. It's a little. It's a little. It's a little we got a little bit. We're okay. We're gonna be just fine, right? Everything will be fine, guys. All right, manual mode, engine control system failure. Oh, Nothing new. Let's get on the road. <laughs> Oh my god, flat <laughs> playground naturally aspirated V8 just 
just screams it revs at 9,000 RPM. What else could you want in life? Every acceleration is so good. It's like the first time every yeah, time. Yeah, it is, uh-huh. <laughs> All right, well, we officially pulled out on the side of the road because you have to go. Are you sure? Yes. Is this safe? Given my it. track record, <laughs> given my history today, are you sure? Let's do this. Okay, let's do it. Let's go full set, baby. <laughs> full set or no set, let's go. Take just, one just last moment. To, She's a beautiful car right just, now. Just try not to blow it up. Okay, I'll try not to. Watch something, oh God forbid. I don't know that I've ever said passenger in this car while someone's oh, ripped it. Wait, nobody else has ever driven this car? I don't think so. Right. I don't think so. I guess that's an honor. <laughs> Or it's gonna be a massive regret. One of the two. I've been a four five eight before, right? I have some history. Okay. I've done it before. <laughs> Just straight out of the gate. <laughs> oh, I love this town. This car so much. It and sounds like, so good. They're crisp. <laughs> so good. <laughs> He's driving my car harder than I was. <laughs> I didn't do anything, okay? <laughs> You're like, what car is this coming from? <laughs> it was the semi chuck. Or is it the air? It's not the air conditioning, is it? The, the, Which, air, by the, way, the air is blowing working. so nicely. It is. It is so refreshing. You know, I think she just needed a little break and she was good to go. Just a little tender love and care, yeah. the strat effect, right? <laughs> it looks an awful lot like your GTR. Something may have happened. That's awkward. He made eye contact. <laughs> I mean, we have a wide body GTR and a wide body for <laughs> On the side of the road. Of course, people are gonna have to go to your video to see what happened, but do you want to say anything? <laughs> um, no, quick moment of silence for my Nissan GTR. Uh, oh, no. We have this part over here, part of the drive shaft, and you can see the stream of coolant. Now, the record should state that my cameraman, Luke Terry, was driving, right? I was, I had nothing to do it with it. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't me, you had nothing to do with it. It just so happened that you were in town, though. I don't know. Okay, 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 oh god, no. Well, the tow truck driver has made it. They will be towing the GTR back to the shop. Hopefully, it's an easy fix and not the two series but you won't really know till they take a look at it. We're gonna get her loaded up, then we're gonna head back to the house because I have to pick which car out of Stratus collection that I'm gonna drive. So this is what happens when he makes 1,800 horsepower and brand new R triple eight R's on a hot summer day. And Luke driving. And Luke behind the wheel. I don't know. <laughs> no, forget that. If I was driving, if you were driving, we'd be fine. We'd be chilling at home. Yeah. We'll Having a nice cold beverage. Night. Exactly. Exactly. But no, we're out here on the hottest day of the year getting sunburned. That guy. <laughs> you have given me a once in a lifetime opportunity right now. Am I regretting it? A little bit, yes, absolutely I am. I can drive any single one of your cars. Anything you want. Well, we have the Mercy right here, a naturally aspirated V12. It sounds yep. so incredible. There's only 50 of them in the world. This one's number 19, 40th anniversary. Oh my goodness. Dated man, you got the carbon it's a fiber. It's dated man. Very Artemis. Absolutely, this is beautiful and definitely on my bucket list of cars to drive. We have the 6x6, but that's probably not gonna be the one that probably I took not. to drive no, today, no, you know? No, no, no. There's also the 458, this is the Liberty Walk V1. You guys saw this earlier, but I don't know if I'm gonna choose a 458 because I have my own 458. So now we're down to the Mercy and then everything else that we have inside exactly. the garage, which are two Lamborghini Aventadors. We have a coupe and a Roadster. There's also the Bugatti, the Bugatti Veyron, tucked in the corner of the garage. Well, there's the Pintar. Honestly, <laughs> this is what you should drive. I'm this actually is considering. so much fun. It has a lawnmower engine. It's got a two-speed transmission. First and second, it has reverse. You got blinkers. I think you even have headlights. Oh my it does like 25 miles an hour. You know, I am, I am always sold on this. I am almost sold. But you guys know when it comes to your girl, she really likes horsepower. So what I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards the Bugatti Veyron because it's a W16 quad turbo. Four turbos. From factory. Exactly. A thousand and one. Horsepower. Yep. And 918 foot pounds of torque from factory. That is insane. Mercy, Bugatti, Mercy. Let's be honest. You know. <laughs> you know what you're doing. You already have the key ready for me. <laughs> I, I knew. I mean, it's a Bugatti. It's a Veyron. It's a Bugatti. This is a 
once in a lifetime opportunity. I've never driven a Bugatti. I've never even sat inside of one. Oh my God, this feels weird just holding the key. And for the viewers real quick at home, mm -hmm. you once told me that you got a flat tire on this car. I did. And it was $25,000? $38,000. $38,000? Yeah. $38,000? $38,000. Those are the factory tires. So the factory tires are glued to the wheels and they're rated for 250 miles an hour, blah, blah, blah. These are aftermarket tires. These are like 2,500 bucks. So if we get a flat tire, it's not a big deal. <laughs> okay. I just got a flat tire on the OEM tire. So yes. With our luck totally today. Fine. Yes. And the engine and transmission, it's like just say it, just quarter say it. million, oh, half a million. My I don't goodness. even, honestly, I don't even, I don't even want to know. But that's don't not going to happen to you. We didn't blow up one car today. We definitely no, didn't blow up. Neither, no, neither no, no, you no. or I did. We don't blow up cars. I just have to film you. Don't worry. Don't worry. worry. It's I have to get to the driver's <laughs> seat of this. I take a lot of pride. I'm the only Veyron owner that has to get on the passenger side. Also, so there's 450 Veyrons in the world. If you put every single Veyron owner based off net worth, I am by far and away. The Wait. poorest, hundred percent. Oh, the poorest? Oh, by far, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking around this garage. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I rent this house, right? And I make payments on this car, so. That's true. You know, I always had. I saw that meme a long time ago, where it was a trailer park home, and then the Bugatti was in front of it. And I always envisioned that would meet me one day. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Let's do the cold start against the wall. Let that feel prime, and we are out. You're gonna drive first, you're gonna shake her down a little yes, bit. Yes, I'm gonna show you the ropes. <laughs> the yes. car's like super simple though, like it's elegant. Have you ever yeah. launched it? Not saying I want oh, to launch course, it, right, really? This car, this car is so heavy though, like it doesn't launch that hard. How much does this weigh, you know, off the top of your head? That's more yours. Okay. That's more, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, he's gonna drive it first and then I'm gonna drive it afterwards. This is, ooh. Yeah, it's a very unique sound. It sounds like a jet, legit. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, seatbelt for sure. <laughs> This is insane. This is crazy. This is. <laughs> to see the Strad Mansion. Is yes. that what we're calling it? The uh, Strad Mansion? I, I, I think you just coined the term. <laughs> the so that's, I guess, mansion. what we're calling it. So the whole house design was focused purely on the garage, which is on the right side. Nothing else matters. It's all based on car storage. How many cars can you fit inside here? Uh, I think 20. 20? When it's all said and done. And that's 20 without having to move another car, which oh, is essential. Oh, that is dreams. If I wanted that to like pack them in, we could probably do like 30, 30 And you know one day you're gonna end up packing them oh, in, so you had to I count know. it it's, just here. It's an addiction, it's a problem. Welcome to my humble room. Wow. Echo! <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hello! Front room, front closet, yep, this living kitchen room, right kitchen. Here. Uh, this is the living room. Super cool ball seats and cantilevers. This is crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be so sick. The plan is to put the Ferrari race car on the wall right there. <laughs> and you're not kidding. No, I'm dead serious. No, yeah. it's got it. It has to happen. You're gonna put the challenge car on the wall. Yeah, so here. we're gonna pull the motor, pull the trans. I'm gonna paint the car, and we're gonna put it on the wall. I love that. So a lot of engineering <laughs> going into that. 
So how many bedrooms is this? Um, so there's four bedrooms upstairs. Okay. There's a master downstairs, and then there's a bedroom in the basement. So what six. What are you gonna do with that space? I don't know. Space? I have no kids. I'm not married. Oscar's just gonna be living his best <laughs> Oscar's life. Oscar's gonna have four bedrooms. I know. He's gonna have so much room to roam. I'm actually like a little nervous. He's gonna get lost in the house. Oh. You know. I want to see the garage. Can you get to it over here? Yeah. Of course oh. you can. Of yeah, course so you can. Is like, you, it's like one big circle. So you go underground and get back to the house. And then on the second story, you can walk across the sky bridge right here. These doors are gonna open up. Oh, There's wow. There's gonna be like a deck where you can look down on the cars, which would be so sick. Whoa, this is crazy. Look at this garage. If I were you, I would just live on this well, house. So that's, that was this the original the design of the house. Was I was gonna live here, but then the banks wouldn't give me a loan. You can't just build a garage with an apartment. <laughs> so you had to build stuff, a so house. So I had to build the house. Yep, yeah, I would just live on this half. <laughs> I know, I know. What more do you need in life? Uh, <laughs> than a 36 car garage. Yep, uh-huh. Until you put lifts in here, you can fit a few more. I know, I, that's the thing. I could put double stackers for sure. Double the square footage. I have the it's car elevator. Addiction. This is it is, I know. Problem. I know. Well, I'm already trying to decide if I want to build a detached garage on the back side of the property. Because, like, well, you're already here. You can never have too much car storage. Whoa. So, yes, the car elevator should be here in a couple weeks. For those of you guys who don't like heights, this is probably a scary thing. Down here, taking the elevator down, is the Bat Cave. Is the Strad Cave. Exactly, yeah, the Strad Lair. Is the Strad Lair. So, I'm going to park all the Lamborghinis down here, is the plan. So, just imagine a bright Oh, my road. goodness. Okay, so we've seen the house. The traffic has died down. It is now time to drive this Bugatti. What if, should we do? Maybe we shouldn't though. I'm hot. We could just go get dinner. Yeah, we just know, got I mean, the, the rest of the video. The keys are in my hand. I, it just might slip and start the car. And next thing you know, my foot hits the gas. Yeah. <laughs> That it's could definitely happen, I but it doesn't have fall to. Start the car. But it, we could make it so that doesn't happen. <laughs> is that where the key goes? That's a top speed. No, that's a top speed key. So your normal key goes here, but if you want to unlock the full potential of the car and go 250 miles an hour, Wait, you need the top speed key. Are you going to tell me about this, or are you just going to? No, tell obviously me I was going to tell you about. No, no, no. Well, no. So it's a different key, and I don't have the key oh. with me. So unfortunately, he doesn't have the key with him. You can him. only go 240 miles an hour. Just like the McLarens, your girl is too short. I got you a sleeping bag. Oh, thank you. I'm five six. I'm not even that bad. Wait, just shove them behind me. How's that? Oh, that's great. Definitely the first time this has ever happened. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, such a bad so idea good. on so many levels. <laughs> this is so crazy. I'm driving a freaking Bugatti. It's Gray super Rod. easy to drive, though. The car is like split personality. <laughs> like when you're just driving it normal, it's super easy. But then when you put your foot on the gas, it becomes like a monster. Why have you not done a donut in this car? Because it, it's all wheel drive and. Just the, in the snow, you yeah, know? Yeah, maybe someday. I think I'm ready. Are you Most ready? Never let's, done. Go. let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay, wow, Amelia, are you kidding me? Stop, jeez. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my okay. god. First time she drives the car. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm wow. speechless. That was insane. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's like nothing I've ever felt driving before. <laughs> oh my god, you are crazy. Oh my you god. are absolutely mad. I wish people at home could experience this. Yes. This is like nothing I've ever driven my entire life. It's so hard to capture the acceleration. There's it just takes so off. much torque, so much yep. acceleration. It just picks up and goes, and it, it sounds so ferocious when you're driving it. And then I just listen to that. It's like a whine.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, return back to you. Give me back my sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally a bucket list goal and not something that many people get to experience in their lifetime. So really, of thank course. you. You definitely maximized the potential of this <laughs> the car. Absolutely. And the potential. I was very impressed. Very impressed. Well, I think now is a good time to close out the video. The sun is setting. It's been an absolutely beautiful day here. We have the truck back to, well, you guys know where with the 458. So it is time to say goodbye. It was good to see you. Thank you so much. Of course. Obviously, you guys know who James the Stratman is. So go check out his YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe and comment and let him know that you guys came from this video.